Okay, in this problem, we're going to do these two examples here. How do you find the cosine of 75 degrees and the sine of 105 degrees, and how do you find the exact values of those given angles? Well, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to say, you know what, I'm not going to consider it to be 75 degrees because I don't know that. But I do know that I can get 75 from adding the two numbers 45 and 30, which are common angles that we know. So I'm going to look at this first as the cosine of 45 degrees plus 30 degrees. That means then, now at this point, I need to go down to my sum and difference formulas. And this is a matter of memorization, but for now let's use our notes. And the notes say that if I'm going to add two angles and take the cosine of those, I need to use this formula. It looks like u is going to be 45, the way I have it set up, and b is going to be 30. And so I'm going to write then, it must be the cosine of 45 degrees times the cosine of 30 degrees minus, opposite sine, minus the sine of 45 degrees times the sine of 30 degrees. Now, the reason this is helpful is because these are values that I know. For example, I know that the cosine, if it's 45 degrees, the cosine adjacent over hypotenuse is 1 over the square root of 2. I know that the cosine of 30 degrees is the square root of 3 over 2 minus the sine of 45 degrees is 1 over the square root of 2 and the sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. Now it's just a matter of simplifying this fraction, these fractions that I have. Um, it may help me to rewrite instead of saying 1 over the square root of 2, maybe I want to call this instead, I'm going to call this the square root of 2 over 2 because I'm going to have to rationalize that anyway. You know, I'm going to do the same thing over here, might as well. Let's call that the square root of 2 over 2. Now it looks like I'm a little bit closer to being ready to go. On the top, I have the square root of 2 times the square root of 3. That's the square root of 6. On the bottom, I have 2 times 2. That's 4. Over here on the right, I have 1 times the square root of 2, which is the square root of 2. And on the bottom, I have 2 times 2, which is 4. And so my final expression is going to be, now I can't combine those. That's not the square root of 4, right? Square root of 6 minus the square root of 2, the best we can do is just say the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2, and it's all over 4. There's the exact value of that. Now, to check, it's actually a pretty simple process. If I wanted to check this, all I would do is do the following. Alright, did I get the correct answer? I'm going to go to mode, make sure I'm in degrees. I'm going to do cosine of 75 degrees, it's 0.2588. Now, let's check that. What is the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2? This. If I divide that by 4 now, aha, 0.2588. So I have exactly the value that I was expecting. Right? Okay, let's try this one. Sine of 105. Now, how can I get 105 out of th things like angles that I know, either an axis, 0, 90, 180, 270, or I'm looking for 30s, 45s, and 60s. Uh, let's see, 105 would be a combination of 60 degrees and 45 degrees, right? 60 plus 45 is 105. So now I look at my sum and difference formulas. I'm going to take the sine, and it's going to be two things I add together. So it looks like the way I have it set up, it's u is 60 and v is 45. So I need to do the sine of 60 degrees, cosine of 45 degrees, this is going to be the same sign. It's going to be plus this time. And I need to do cosine of 60 degrees, sine of 45 degrees. Now, I need to go through and figure out what each of these is. The sine of 60, it turns out, is the square root of 3 over 2. The cosine of 45 is 1 over the square root of 2. I'm going to go ahead and rationalize that. I'm going to call it the square root of 2 over 2. Plus, the cosine of 60 degrees is 1 half. And the sine of 45 degrees is the square root of 2 over 2. So now, to go to the final answer, I need to just multiply these out. On top over here, I have three, square root of 3 times the square root of 2. That's square root of 6. 2 times 2 on the bottom. 2 times 2 is 4. The right fraction, the right multiplication problem. I have 1 times the square root of 2 on top. And I have 2 times 2 on bottom. And it turns out then the answer for this one is square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 all over 4. And I could check it in exactly the same way if I wanted to. If that problem makes sense, you ready to go on to example 2. In example 2, I'm going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it in radians. 